Panthers return home to the Motor Points Arena after two weeks away. And they'll be looking to return to winning ways against the Guildford Flame side, who have come into some really good form of late, winning their last four games straight. Rock Stojanovic starts in goal for the Panthers, and Joe Hazeldine makes his first home Panthers appearance since 2020, as the home side go into the game at full strength. And now they can come on the rush themselves. Comes down the right-hand side, Ferguson just puts it deep and then goes for the change. Now with Carl Neal for the Panthers. Wow, just got it stuck in his skates, but he's taken on by the Eminent. The Eminent hands it back to Watt. Wow, back again, and now the jump drops in. Great finish! And it's Joe Hazeldine on his second home debut who finds the net. Yeah, we haven't really spoke much about Joe. We talked about him a little bit off the off, but he joins the rush there. And you know, with McCannum there, no, no screen at all. Hazeldine just beats him clean with that shot. Looks like it was just under the glove, above the pad. And a good start there on his return. Back at the motor point. I think he enjoyed that. Thought about the shot, plays the pass instead, and plays Ryan across the face of goal as McCurdy puts it back in. Finds Hugo Wah. Wah. Oh, he's right by the side of the net now, and it's right out in front in the Eminent. Only one to the touch, and McAdam makes two great saves, but Hembrandt has it. <coughs> Comes right back out in front. Hugo War, and it's over. Yeah, the Flames here really struggling, really scrambling in their own end. Haven't really kind of found their stride yet. I don't think even a couple of times when they kind of almost had old man rushes the other way, they've kind of fumbled the puck or made a bad pass, and they don't quite look like they're um, settled in this game yet. Yeah, it's a real good opportunity for the Panthers to go 2 0 up. Austin Glover with a great chance there from the turnover, but Panthers come the other way now. Nielsen to Welsh, to Kelsall, to Welsh, back to McGurty. Can't get a clean shot off. It was great defence by the Flames. It's right out front, and it does go in, and it's Tyler Welsh. The Panthers on the loose box, puts it into the roof of the net, and Panthers are 2 0 ahead. Yeah, and again, just all at sea defensively. Avery McAdam doesn't look that confident at the moment, Puck's bouncing around again there, he didn't know where it was. That's probably both goals where maybe he hasn't looked bang on for either of them. That one just squirted through and it fell right to Welsh, he's not going to miss that one. Hugo Wall gets in around. Gets the puck back from Deidre Kembrand, who comes into the centre looking for the Eminent, but now a chance for the Flames to break, and it's Ryan Tate. Ryan Tate, but he flips it over, but he's drawn the penalty. A slashing call, and the Guildford Flames are going to go onto the power play. Yeah, what what a burst of speed there from uh, Tate. He was kind of uh, level there with Dupre, but he got away. I, I can see Dupre's, um, you know, wise, but, you know, just a little one-handed slash, but still, you know, you're through one-on-one. -on -one. Passes it off now, and then takes the return pass, but he's got Miles McGurty all over him. Great play by McGurty, but Flames keep the puck, and now there's a bit of space, and that's a great save by Stojanovic, and again, and again! Triple save by Stojanovic! Let's watch this here. Find him by McParland. And the backhand shot, oh, that's just, just an outstanding save. Yeah, really good focus to stay with it, like you said, two really good saves. This first save's really good as well with the shoulder, and then just to kind of get a piece of that with a glove. It's blocked in the corner. Dupree in there, and it finally comes out, and it's Lukwet who takes it away. And Lukwet looking for Farley. Farley gets it back in front, Anderson, and it's a great save by McAdam. But really good rush by the Panthers there. Yeah, again, kind of out of nothing. Pucks 200 feet in the corner, you know, one battle. The uh, defensive side come out with it, and then three on two. I think if Andy had just had another second to, you know, maybe get a little bit more mustard on that. Got, got McParland all over him. Oh, Ooh. that's a loose pass. Oh, off the crossbar by Farley. Uh -oh. And another chance, and it's, this time it's blocked. Golden opportunity for Panthers to go three ahead. Yeah, and again, it comes off a little bit of a giveaway there. And like you said, Welsh and, and Lunk were playing catch in front, both getting decent chances, but I'm not sure he's then made it to the net. to Climac, Climac looking to get some space. Climac right across what the save. Tape. I think he might have shot that right into Rock, but what a save that is there. Climac, great move. 
look, I mean, Tate, Tate looked really just had an empty net to put it into, but great positioning by Stjanovic. Oh. Intelligent play off the back of the boards. Those Panthers who bring it away again, and here's Tyler Welsh. Welsh, beautiful pass to Nielsen, who's got space. Logan Nielsen fires wide. And again, this line, Welsh, Kelsall and Nielsen causing havoc out there. And it's Kelsall, whoa, great save, McAdam. I think that might have been squeezing in at the near post, you know. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he got there with a glove or if, if it was a side net, it looked like from here. But again, you know, those three, some, some nice passing plays, and just, just couldn't steer that one in. But again, this, this line's been excellent all night. Here's Nielsen. Nielsen again, goes through the middle, it's cut out though. And now here's Tate, Tate looking to get space, and once again it's Stanovic with the save. And now played off the boards, and it could be a two-on-one break. It's Welsh, Kelsall, one time, brilliant finish! Jordan Kelsall, what a time to get the first of the season! And that is the second goal from this line tonight, and Panthers lead 3-0. Yeah, John Kelsall's going to ice this one for the Panthers, and it all starts with that massive save by Rock at one end, and I didn't think that was very well played defensively, that two-on-one, it's easy pass there by Tyler Welsh over. See here, he just kind of comes at him, gives Welsh no option but to pass it over, and Kelsall buries that one, I think that's going to do it, but... Great finish by Kelsall, one time shot into the roof of the net. And it's three on two the other way, here's Lalonde. Lalonde right across, and Panthers with the break. Neil goes chasing Ooh, it. Oh, can't get it. McAdam, and now there's a player right out in front. Welch, oh, it's saved. And now Betteridge, and it's chaos down by McAdam's net. Chaos. Yeah, and that's the tough one with that trapper, with the, with the rule there, with the trapezoid. Once it goes in there, there's nothing McAdam can do but just kind of sit and wait for the little breakaway, so. 18 seconds remaining. Fired in again, it's just wide by O'Connor. Betteridge will just chip this out. No, O'Connor picks it up. Great play by Betteridge, though, to stop O'Connor taking the shot. Five seconds remaining. It's chipped out. Lalonde has it. And it's a shutout victory for the Nottingham Panthers. 3-0 over the Guildford Flames. And Panthers fully deserve that. Yeah.